If you've been charged with a crime in Dearborn, Michigan, your case will be heard at the 19th District Court. The 19th District Court has three different judges. There are also two different prosecutors at this court. We have the City of Dearborn Prosecutor and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Now in the Dearborn Court, what I see, I see a lot of retail fraud cases, possession of marijuana cases, drunk driving cases, and uh, some property offenses. Uh, all these crimes are misdemeanors, and what they have in common is that the judge, the prosecutor, and the police department are all judging you based upon this one incident. They're looking at the police reports, the video, the audio, any statements, any statements made by you about the offense, and they've come to one conclusion, that you're simply a criminal. Now, I don't think that's fair for my clients to be judged on their worst moment in time. What's fair is for a judge, the prosecutor, and the police department to consider everything in your life, what you've accomplished in the past, what you're doing in the present, and where you're going in the future. Now, we can't affect what you've done in the past, but we can affect what you're doing in the present and predicting what the future looks like. The one concern that a judge and prosecutor have when they handle your case is, is this going to happen again? Is something worse going to happen? Does this person need to learn a lesson right now so they're not going to do this again? How can we prevent it in the future? So what we do, my clients and I, is we undergo a proactive program from day one. This is more than just words, more than telling the prosecutor and the judge where you work, your responsibilities at home, and your goals in life. Of course, we're going to express all of that to them, but we also need to have real actions. This is a negative uh, incident in your community. How do we change that perception? How do we show that you're a positive person with a bright future? So what we do from day one is we begin proactive community service in the community. Uh, showing that you're a positive person willing to dedicate your time to a cause to better uh, your surroundings. We also engage in proactive counseling, uh, undergoing a substance abuse screening and assessment depending upon what you're charged with. There may be alcohol testing, there may be drug testing, there could be AA meetings, there could be particular meetings geared towards retail fraud cases. Depending upon what you're charged with, we're going to gear my proactive program to your exact charge. We're also going to consider which of the three judges are handling your case, and is the city of Dearborn the prosecutor or is Wayne County your prosecutor. Each particular program that I put together is tailored to m my client's needs. Uh, we consider your responsibilities, uh, your job, any professional licenses you may have, such as a nurse or a doctor or a lawyer. Uh, is your driver's license going to be impacted by this case? So what we're doing is demonstrating not only in the present what you're doing, but also showing a judge and prosecutor where you're going in the future. All cases in Dearborn go down two different paths. The first path is the path of litigation. We need to learn everything about your case. We need to learn if you have any defenses at trial, if there are any constitutional violations that can mean filing a motion and holding a hearing, or is your case uh, better for negotiations? Can we get a great outcome in your case without the risk of going to a trial? If you decide to go to trial, you're either guilty or not guilty. Not all cases are geared towards trial in Michigan. Most cases are actually geared better towards a, a negotiation path. What happens though is most lawyers and clients go to court, they simply hope for the best. They tell the prosecutor and the judge that my client works here, they have X amount of kids, they're married. What they say is, you know what, everyone has these same issues. Everyone has a job, everyone has a family. None of this prevented you from committing this crime. Uh, so what we're doing is we're going to tell them all that, but we're also going to put four or five different tools in the place to demonstrate real actions. You're going to stand out among everyone else in court. Uh, when I go to court, my client uh, is a rock star. There may be 20 other cases where it's, it's kind of the same result, uh, kind of the same tone. My client sets the tone. My client uh, gets better results uh, than what I've seen. Now, all cases are different, uh, but my experience, I walk out of court and other clients that I'm not even representing chase me out of the courtroom and ask for a business card. They say, well, how can I do this? What can I do here? Well, what I tell them is you need to start this early. You need to start this from day one. This is not something that you can do on the fly. I'm looking for dedicated clients willing from day one to begin my program. If you're willing to do so and willing to help you, I encourage you to contact me. Uh, let's talk about your charges. Let's talk about where you are in life. Let's talk about your goals. And I look forward to helping you with your case.